Planet Dolan. From questions about outer space to wondering where snow comes from, we answer 10 of your most burning questions about Earth. Hello there. My name is Shima, and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. Number 10. Why is the sky blue? Before you were born, a kid came along and colored in the sky blue with his crayon, and we haven't been able to fix it yet. But we took away his PlayStation, and he hasn't done it since. It's because of sunlight, which isn't yellow. It's actually a bunch of different colors all mixed together. And blue just happens to bounce around the sky more than others, like red or green. Pigeons. Blue pigeons everywhere. And they move so quick that by the time you've spotted one, it just becomes a blur in the sky. And each pigeon has a name, but it's been so long that we've forgotten what they are. We think one of them is named Enrique. Number 9. Why do you sink in quicksand? Old people spend a lot of their time under the sand waiting to pull you under. And once they do, they will steal your youth and you will become old. Until you grab a kid yourself and pull them under to get young again. You sink because the sand is mushy from lots of water. Like when it rains outside and the dirt turns to mud and becomes slippery. Quicksand actually just wants a friend. And it's trying to give you a big hug, but you keep squirming out of it. So now it thinks you don't want to be its friend, and that makes it sad. No. Number 8. If you were on the other side of the planet, would everything be upside down? Upside down and inside out, yes. You would have to walk to school wearing the inside of your skin as clothing, doing an endless handstand clutching grass so that you don't fall into the sky. No, because no matter where you are on Earth, you would be pulled towards the ground and the center of the planet due to a thing called gravity. Since the world is flat, when you flip it upside down, you'll find an evil version of yourself doing nasty things like spitting on sidewalks and not helping old ladies cross the road. Number 7. How many people are there in the world? There were actually a hundred billion humans at one point, but a meteor hit the Earth and went straight through it and took 93 billion people off into outer space. It's been a while since we heard from them, but sometimes a space stork brings back a baby or two, so that's alright. There are more than 7 billion people living on Earth right now, not counting all the animals. And we might end up with more than 9 billion people in about 30 years. Number 6. Why is the Earth round? The Earth was flat a few thousand years ago, but it kept eating cake and cookies and chocolate, and now it's gotten a little bit fat. It can't even fit into its pants anymore, so its legs and feet are a little bit cold. For the same reason the other side of the planet isn't upside down, Gravity means everything is being pushed towards the center of the planet, and being round means that every part of the Earth is as close to the center as possible. Number 5. Why can't we live on other planets? We do. It's called Planet Dolan, where everyone dances all day, every day, and cute little bunnies roam freely. But we ignore them because we're so focused on dancing. And they... they don't like us for that. A lot of other planets are either too hot or too cold, and they don't contain things that keep us alive, like oxygen or water. So we would need special equipment to visit them, like spacesuits. Number 4. What would happen if all the gravity disappeared? You would simply need to replace the hamster on the hamster wheel that's running around powering the Earth. If that doesn't restore gravity, then we're going to need to turn the Earth off and turn it back on again. That should solve the problem. We would all float away into outer space because there would be nothing holding us onto the surface of the planet. But don't worry, gravity isn't going anywhere. Number 3. Why does the ocean taste so salty? Every Tuesday, I visit my local beach with a bag full of salt, and I pour it in. People usually try and stop me, but I just throw a handful of salt at them and they dissolve into the sand. It's because the ocean slaps against rocks on beaches, and the rocks put a lot of salt into the water where it is carried over huge distances, and it's been happening for millions of years. Number 2. Where does snow come from? One day, a snowman woke up and found he was the only snowman in the whole world. So to stop himself feeling lonely, he started coughing up snowballs and used them to build friends. So that's where snow comes from. It's a ball of cough. 
Clouds drop rain out of the sky, and on the way down, those drops stick to things like little bits of dust and freeze solid. Then other water drops join in and freeze, forming snowflakes and ice crystals. Number one. Why do seashells sound like the ocean when you put it against your ear? It isn't actually an ocean sound. If you listen really carefully, really quietly, and you concentrate really hard, you will hear a turtle gently whisper into your ear. Hey, how's your, uh, how's your day been? Those aren't ocean sounds. Those are fluids inside your ear sloshing around like waves. The shell just makes that sound louder and echo, so you can hear it clear as day. So how about it? Do you have any burning questions about life and the universe that you would like us to answer in a future video? Go ahead and ask it in the comment box below. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a cool one!